Hello and good morning. I hope you're all well. I wanted to leave a video today sharing some thoughts that are on my mind right now. This is totally unscripted. I'm not reading anything. I'm not going to try and make this perfect. I'm just going to talk and I'm going to talk from my heart. Um, I woke up this morning at about four o'clock, 4.09 to be precise, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I was thinking to myself, what is it that's keeping me awake? And what's keeping me awake is my business. And why is my business keeping me awake? It's keeping me awake because I can see an opportunity. And I've been seeing an opportunity for the last six years in the world of disability that I'm really struggling to get other people to see. And that's what's keeping me awake at night. So today I thought, what am I going to do that's going to be different? And I thought, I'm going to actually leave a video. I'm going to share my thoughts. I'm going to talk about what I've seen. I'm going to talk about my experiences. And for those of you that can listen and want to get involved and want to help, then I want to hear from you. Okay. So the first thing about me is that I've had a very privileged life in many ways, but I've had lots of experiences that many people wouldn't have had. The first experience was actually being in a tsunami in 2004 and actually realizing overnight that life can change within a split second, okay? And the fact that I survived that helped me to understand that I need to look at life through a very different lens. The second thing that really changed my life was actually Ishan and Ishan being born. And this is the first thing about disability. Disability can affect anybody at any moment in time without any warning, or any knowledge beforehand. It can just happen. And it just happened to me. I had 36 years of what would be a, a blessed life. You know, everything I needed or everything I wanted, I had. And then when my dear little Ishan came along and what happened with his disability at the last minute during the birthing process shocked me and shocked everyone around me into, into a new world that I didn't even know existed. And previous to Ishin, you know, I'd had a lot of success in financial services and had a very blessed career, which I was very, very grateful for even till today. Um, so I've seen a world where most of us are chasing money, great homes, great schools, great holidays, great cars. I've seen that. I've had that. But actually, when Ishin happened, things changed for me. And the third thing that really changed my life um, was actually working for James Khan, Dragon's Den, or ex-Dragon's Den, I should say. Um, James gave me an opportunity to be able to do something in my life that no one else gave me the opportunity to do. And he mentored me. He took a chance on me. He trusted me. And that was amazing. And that was something that till today I'm extremely grateful for. Till today still continues to drive me to do what I'm doing now. And I always knew I wanted to do something with disability, but I didn't know exactly what it was until I met my current partner, Shane Brackby. And he's the one that helped me to understand that people with disabilities want to start businesses. They have great business ideas, but they don't have enough people that trust in them, that give them the opportunity, that give them the chance that they deserve to make their ideas real businesses okay that is how kaleidoscope investments was formed it was actually formed to help people with disabilities to start businesses right and we would help them and i thought to myself that with my background with my experience with my connections i'm going to raise millions of pounds and it's going to be really easy for me to do this and you know what in the last five and a half to six years it's been the hardest thing i've ever had to do in my life the hardest thing. I've had to raise money from friends and family. I've had to raise money against my home. I've had to, what I would probably call, embarrass myself, humiliate myself, go to people to ask for help because I have seen something that they haven't seen. Because I'm trying to convince them that they need to listen to me. Till today, I have met over 1,100 disabled people. Let me repeat that number. 1,100 disabled people from 63 different disabilities from 28 countries. And I have seen and experienced things I never thought were humanly possible. It's been remarkable. It's been amazing. It's been a gift. And I feel the insights that I've had and some of my team have had have been the greatest blessing in this world. 
The fact that we think and we judge people based on what they look like, what we think they can do versus what they can really do, is the biggest mistake that humanity is making today. We are using our vision to make judgments on what we think is right and what we think is wrong. And this is where we're going wrong as a society. And this is what we need to change, okay? I am not building Kaleidoscope to sell it. I don't wanna do that. I wanna build Kaleidoscope to make a difference. I want this business to make a change, but we can't do it by ourselves. We need help. We need people. We need to create a movement. We need to change mindsets. We need to create positive perceptions of disabled people and what they can do, not what they can't do. And why am I talking here now? Why am I saying this? Actually, the funny thing is, I don't know why I'm saying this. All I know is that I feel frustrated today and I feel that I need to get onto this video and I need to share my thoughts and I need to try and help my experience to change the minds of other people towards people with disabilities. And what, what do we need to do? Number one, we need to give disabled people that have got great business ideas the chance to turn those ideas into real businesses, okay? Now, I know in the VC world, we're all used to the word X being a measure of return, 10X, 10 times my return, 20X, 30X, 40X. We're all chasing a number with an X at the end. Well, you know what? Why don't we turn that X into a kiss of love? an opportunity and give people with disabilities the chance to actually prove themselves first. Let that X of love be the priority and then let our X return of performance be the secondary. If we get our money back, fantastic. But you know what? Sometimes in life it's worth taking a chance, right? We live in a COVID world right now where people are dying overnight. Look at what's happening to our friends and families in India right now. I got a shocking message from a very dear friend of mine just three or four days ago, and this is what she wrote to me, and I quote, no amount of money or contacts can make a difference. Can you imagine living in a world where no amount of money or contacts can make a difference? Well, that's the world that we're living in right now, and that's the risk that we've got with COVID around us. So actually, I think in this one year that people have had to go through loss, learning, every single one of us being disabled because we've actually been stuck at home, whether we like it or we don't, this is the time to make a difference. This is the time to put purpose first, people second, profit third. Let me say that again, purpose first, people second, profit third. I've always believed that people will make money when your heart is in the right place. I've always believed that people will make money if you do good things. It will follow you. You will get a good reputation. You will get a good rapport. But you have to have that good intention first. And with that in mind, there's something that I want to say to the entrepreneurs that I've met over the years that actually we haven't been able to help. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that we haven't been able to help you in the way that I would have loved to have helped you. If I had my own money and I didn't have to rely on external investors, I wouldn't even have thought twice. But unfortunately, I'm surrounded and I've been surrounded by some amazing people, by the way, and I want to thank all the investors that Kaleidoscope has had today because I'm extremely grateful for what you've done and the chances that you've taken in me, and that's friends, family, professional investors, I'm extremely grateful. But there's also a lot of people that are around us that are just in this to make money. And you know something, I don't blame you for wanting to make money, okay? It's the right thing to make money. But sometimes there are other benefits in life that are over and above money that are more impactful, that are more important. Making a difference to the community, making a difference to a human life, making a difference to somebody's dreams. This is what sometimes is more important. And there are many, many people around me that I would have loved to have helped in ways that I've not been able to help. But you know what? I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. I have my little son over here, Ishan, that is driving me. I have the good Lord that is driving me. I have friends and family that believe in me, that trust in me. And most importantly, I have a phenomenal team a phenomenal team that have stood by my side over the last six years. 
What do I want to say next? I want to say to you, join me on this journey. Join us on this journey of disability. This is an amazing world. It's a world that I didn't know existed until my son was born. It's a world that I didn't know existed until I had my own mental health related issues following the birth of my son. But you know what? I'm still here. And many people with disabilities are still here and they are more driven and they have more resilience and they have more drive and they have more determination than every single person without, without a disability can imagine, can imagine. And you know, I'm delighted to say one thing, in the last two to three years, there is a movement that has been created around disability. And I wanna thank a very dear friend, Caroline Casey, for the Valuable 500, for everything you're trying to do to change the mindsets of organizations at a board level to think about disability from an employment perspective. There are movements that are happening around this world that are very positive, okay? But the biggest thing that's made a change is COVID. That's what's made a change. COVID's made a change, right? And I think this is the time now to think about life differently. We all need to now think that we need to make, for me, purpose our number one priority. Think about why you're waking up every morning. Think about what you're doing. Think about the work you do. Think about the money that you earn. Is that what you want to do? Is that where you want your life to be? Is that where you want to focus? It's time now to make a change. And please join me and Kaleidoscope in trying to affect this change. Not just for the disabled entrepreneurs that actually want to start their own businesses, but for the disabled people that want to find employment, work, work. Imagine how you would feel if you didn't have a job. And many of us are not going to have jobs after COVID, right? I mean, it's really made a huge impact. But imagine how you would feel. Imagine how you would feel if you were not given the opportunity. That's what we need to do. We need to create opportunities and we need to be fair. So if you wanna make a difference and help a person with a disability start a business or to find employment or to get a grant, or if you're an employer and you wanna hire people, you wanna make a change to your business. You wanna actually start selling your products to the disability community who actually need products and services. Do you know, as a company, as a business, that there is $13 trillion, $13 trillion a year that the disability community and their households have to spend on products and services? $13 trillion a year. How many of you businesses actually think about doing campaigns that focus on disabled people? How many of you think about having products and services that are accessible for disabled people? Probably not many of you. And that's where the change needs to begin. Don't think of disability as a diversity that doesn't affect you. Think of disability as something that can affect any of us at any time, at any moment. And then think about how you want to be treated if you become disabled. Think about how you'd want people to make adaptations for you. Think about how you would want to be treated by your friends and family. It's the kind of thing that can happen to anyone. So please come on board with Kaleidoscope in some way. If you're an investor, we want to hear from you. If you're a disabled person that actually wants to start a business, we want to hear from you. If you're a disabled person that actually wants to find a job, we want to hear from you. If you're a disabled person that actually just wants to, to get a grant or that wants to actually train more or just actually get into a network, to get into a community, start talking to other people with disabilities. We want to hear from you. Anything and everything to do with disability is what Kaleidoscope is about. And that's the difference that I want to make in this world today. When I, when I think about the legacy that I want to leave behind, I want to leave behind a legacy to do with my little boy, Ishin, because his life was, came to me for a purpose. What happened to him with his disability happened for a reason for a purpose. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here to try and make that difference and leave the legacy of Kaleidoscope so that people with disabilities can feel comfortable, that there's a voice of people, a community that are supporting them, that are trying to make a real difference to what it is they're about to achieve. 
I'm sorry this video seems long. I didn't know what I was going to say in this video, but if you've taken the chance to listen to it, you've taken the time to listen to it, then please get in touch. Get in touch with me. You know, I know that I could say go to the website and do this and the other, but get in touch with me. I want to hear from you and I want to know how you are going to help us to make a difference to this world today. Thank you for listening.